Americans, we love to stuff our faces. And there's no better place to do it than the all-you-can-eat buffet. From the salad bar, to the carving station, to the dessert trays, all-you-can-eat buffets are a hungry diner's paradise. And there are literally hundreds of them in some states. But how does a restaurant that serves unlimited food actually make money? And is it possible to out-eat an all-you-can-eat buffet? The American-style all-you-can-eat, or ACE, buffet got its start in the 1940s when a Las Vegas hotel publicist named Herb McDonald put out a late-night spread of cold cuts, bread, and cheese. Hotel guests loved it, and his experiment became known as the Buckaroo Buffet, a nod to its $1 price. Yeehaw! Restaurant chains like Sizzler and Golden Corral modeled their entire dining experiences on Herb McDonald's concept. Sizzler's new all-you-can-eat buffet court. Where do we start? Owners of Ace Buffets entice diners with a tempting offer, paying a single fixed price for any amount of food you eat, even though most restaurants figure you'll only eat about a pound. A restaurant determines how much to charge you by dividing the average number of customers they get per day by the price they pay for their daily food selection. According to a hustle analysis, the average buffet costs about $20 a head. But it can cost restaurants 19 of those $20 just to cover overhead, leaving just $1 in profit. Because margins are so slim, buffets rely heavily on high foot traffic. But serving so many people often results in massive amounts of food waste. And in buffet world, food is money. So buffet operators have cooked up a few hacks to survive in a world of door dashed poke bowls. Step one, put the cheap filling stuff at the front. One study found that almost 70% of all food people eat comes from the first three trays. Suckers. Step two, use smaller plates. Less space means less waste. Step three, swap the serving utensils. Use larger spoons for cheap foods like mashed potatoes and small tongs for costlier items like roast beef. And step four, refill those water glasses. But could it be physically possible to eat enough food to offset the cost of entry at an ACE buffet? The short answer is yes. Even buffets take overeaters into account because they lose money on them. The good news? For every overeater, there's roughly 20 normal eaters who consume a standard amount of food, sometimes less. In which case, buffets recoup the money they lose. And to really keep things under control, some buffets brand themselves as all you care to eat. But the real enemy of buffets isn't the overindulger. It's actually big tech. In a 2019 survey by the National Restaurant Association, consumers report nearly 60% of their restaurant meals were eaten off premises, thanks to the rise of food delivery apps and mobile ordering. Plus, our appetite for endless eating has changed. In 1998, there were 5,000 buffets in the US. In 2018, that number was down to 3,700. With fewer and fewer in business these days, it may seem like the all-you-can-eat buffet is on its way out. But as an American institution of pure gluttony, chances are we'll always be hungry for more. If you're craving more videos from The Hustle, hit subscribe and click the link below to sign up for our daily newsletter to keep up with the latest news in business and tech.